For the first time in human history, we know that there no longer are only those eight planets. Remember, Pluto is not a planet in our solar system. Instead, we know of at least 700 or 800 new planets orbiting other stars. That's been in the last 15 years that we've understood that. Hi, my name is Andrew West. I'm a professor in the astronomy department in the College of Arts and Sciences at Boston University. Every fall I teach a class called Alien Worlds. It's a class that explores the countless new discoveries of planets around other stars. And it's open to non-majors, so students who aren't interested in majoring in physics or astronomy. And I want to tell you about all of the exciting new discoveries that we've made in the field of exoplanets, or planets around other stars. This is a very new field. Started only about 15, 16 years ago. Um, if the students who I'm teaching now, when their parents were in college, this class would have been a science fiction class. A class that was relegated to kind of belief systems. We now know for certain that there are countless worlds at least hundreds, if not many thousands, of detected planets around just the nearby stars in our galaxy. Our galaxy itself contains hundreds of billions of stars, and we have really recent evidence, just in the last year, that most of those stars have planets around them. So that's hundreds of billions of stars in our own galaxy. And remember, there are hundreds of billions of galaxies in the universe. So when you multiply that all together, the number of planets in the universe is in hundreds of billions, of hundreds of billions, which is crazy exciting. And so the first time we're being able to characterize these planets, we're being able to figure out what they're made of. Can you step on them? What are they made of? Uh, material like rock and iron, maybe even water. Uh, could they actually have atmospheres? We've detected atmospheres on a number of these worlds. Are these atmospheres the types of atmospheres where we could sustain life? So for the first time in human history, we are able to not only know that planets are common, but we're beginning to ask those questions about is life possible outside of the Earth? Is it possible around other stars? Is it possible at other places in the galaxy? And could that life evolve similar to where we have to be intelligent?